Remember, we still have six Americans that are held hostage. And Maria, I think it is so important to continue to bring that up because what pressure is Biden receiving from the mainstream media for the fact that we're uh, here in, in the beginning of March and since October 7th, Americans are still held hostage. The only reason we're down to six is because two have died in captivity. The president should be speaking whenever he gives the State of the Union address Thursday night. One of the first things out of his mouth should be what the plan is to get the Americans home. Now, when it relates to Hamas and this administration, listen, Hamas doesn't want to deal, right? We're coming up to Ramadan, and traditionally during Ramadan, this is when terrorist organizations will heighten escalation, heighten the violence. So they don't want to deal right now. What they want is people to go to the al Aska Mosque. They want Palestinians to get revved up and angry. They want the fighting to continue. One of the things that's, that's key in all of this uh, for a ceasefire is to get the hostages homes that we just talked about. Well, Hamas has not even shown any proof of life. Mm. We don't know if they're still alive. They're saying that we're trying to figure out where they are. Are. The bottom line is that has, uh, Hamas is willing to use Palestinian and Israeli lives and American lives in order to uh, cement their goals. 